Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in this video, I would like to show you how you can quickly back up important documents from your PC to OneDrive for Business. Uh, let me explain to you what I'm talking about. So uh, what you see right now on the screen is what my OneDrive uh, for Business. Uh, and essentially, OneDrive for Business is just the user's you know, personal repository where I can store you know, files and folders I want to keep, uh, you know, I guess, uh, securely in the cloud, but private, all right? Everything in here is private. Unlike SharePoint site where, you know, which is meant for uh, essentially team collaboration and access by multiple uh, you know, users, uh, OneDrive is pretty much restricted just to, you know, to uh, the user logged in. Every user has their own OneDrive for business. But here is the problem. Um, it only keeps the files here that I upload intentionally, right? So if let's say I'm working on an important document and maybe I put it on my desktop on my computer and if I never uploaded it to OneDrive, that's too bad, right? I mean, it's not backed up. It's not accessible in the cloud. It's only accessible on that PC, assuming I have access to that PC. So uh, luckily we have a feature that will allow you to automatically back up some folders from your PC to OneDrive for Business. And it might be worthwhile to consider it uh, if uh, you know you care about your files and folders that are uh, on your, you know, might be residing just on your computer. So here's how this works. So uh, you need to configure it in the lower right hand corner if you're on Windows. Uh, click the blue cloud icon. All right, this is OneDrive sync line, uh, gear icon, settings. And of course, this is where you can specify, you know, which uh, uh, libraries, you know, you're syncing and, you know, I'm syncing my OneDrive, uh, you know, my OneDrive, um, you know, for business, the personal uh, essential repository plus uh, the uh, you know, some library in SharePoint. Uh, by the way, let me show you, I mean, this is what it looks like on my, you know, computer, right? So same OneDrive for Business I just showed you, reside on my computer um, and available through Windows Explorer and a library from SharePoint. So now let me show you the uh, additional configuration we need to do. Under Sync and Backup, there is this uh, you know, backup important PC folders uh, to OneDrive option, and you click on it. And it gives you a choice. These are the default uh, kind of folders that you can back up. Uh, you might recognize them. So documents is actually a default, you know, folder that's created on your computer uh, on your C drive. That's why by default, Microsoft stores all, you know, your documents like Word, Excel, and so on. Uh, pictures, that's where the images reside. And then finally, desktop, you see, so desktop is obviously your computer desktop. So obviously lots of users uh, put some documents on, on their desktops and don't bother about backing them up. Well, let me back up, for example, you know, pictures, all right? I want to back up pictures. It actually tells you, you know, how much extra storage it's going to, you know, take. So just like that, and then click save changes. And what's actually, um, you know, it's actually showing you the, um, you know, the progress, I guess, and it's telling you it's been, you know, it's been uh, uploaded. Uh, so it's still, it's still residing on your computer, very important, all right? The files, you know, that you're backing up, the desktop, they're not going, you know, anywhere. It just literally also creates um, uh, a copy uh, in uh, in the cloud as well on your OneDrive. So I'm going to exit out of here. And look what happened. You probably already noticed this. Uh, essentially, whatever I have, whatever folders, images I had, it I, you know just creates another repository and you know OneDrive um, you know essentially for business and uh, you know backs it up. And if I were to back up desktop again, we would see the corresponding folder in here. So now I can access these documents from anywhere I want. As a matter of fact, let's go to uh, the browser. So again, my OneDrive, you know, for business, this are uh, the files that I can access from anywhere. They in the cloud are uh, residing in OneDrive for business. Uh, look at this, the pictures folder got created with the same, you know, essentially with the same folders that you saw previously. 
And the beauty about this, I can now access them obviously from anywhere, not just on this particular PC, uh, or if I decide to sync, you know, one drive for business to another laptop, another computer, uh, again, I can access this stuff from anywhere. So that's essentially um, the feature I wanted to explain to you today. Um, you can do this yourself. I actually have some clients, uh, you know, whose IT department is uh, on purpose and forcing everyone to back it up. Uh, this way, you know, if somebody's computer, something happens to the computer, it uh, doesn't start anymore, or, you know, God forbid it's stolen, uh, at least, you know, there will be a backup, you know, copy available uh, in the cloud. So. Again, that's all I wanted to show you today. Hopefully you learned something new. As always, happy to see you on my YouTube channel and see you soon. Goodbye.